everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're gonna do some hairstyles inspired by folklore and evermore. Yes! I have become a full-on Swifty over the years, and I have not stopped listening to these two albums since they came out, and I noticed that there were a lot of braids and really beautiful waves, and I was getting a lot of requests to do these hairstyles, and honestly, I couldn't say no anymore. The coolest thing is that Taylor did her hair for folklore, and it looks very similar in Evermore, so I like that it's so natural. I feel like it's a great way to embrace, like, comfy, cozy, and cute, and T-Swift all at the same time. So that being said, I think it's time to jump in to the tutorial. But first, don't forget to hit the like button if you are a fellow Swifty, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. Okay, that's it. Let's get into it. Let's start with the texture. You can see I have already been playing around trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. I think I've got the method, so let me show you. You can follow this for short hair, long hair, whatever same method. You're gonna go in sections, so I'm just gonna let down a new section of hair. And I'm obviously showing you with heat, but I'm gonna talk about some heatless ways as we go. So we're trying to recreate Taylor's natural texture, and the way that I wanted to do that was to focus on getting a nice tight curl up at the root that loosens throughout the course of the hair. And with natural hair, obviously you're gonna have some pieces that are a little tighter, some pieces that are a little looser, some pieces might curl opposite directions. So as you do this, just think about taking some really little sections and some slightly larger sections. You just get to be random as everything. <laughs> For this curl, I'm using a three quarter inch curling iron. You can use with or without a clip. I'm just gonna be wrapping my hair around it. Heat protection. So you're gonna take your section and you're gonna wrap basically the first three times around your hair and hold that for about three to five seconds. Then you're gonna just hit the ends of this hair for one or two seconds. So wrap it, hold it for one, two, let it go, give it a little pull and it's done. If it ever looks too perfect, you can always kind of use your fingers like this, this little motion. So for this next section, I'm gonna go even littler and I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, hold it and wrap a little bit more for the ends and let it go. And then for long hair, it's basically the same thing, but you might find yourself going in thirds because for me, this is like half my hair goes on the iron first, the second half goes on the iron last. You might find that you're gonna do like two seconds, then wrap the middle, then wrap the very end. Just go by that like three times around rule. Now you can obviously do this on natural hair. We talked about having Anna Lara's natural hair for this video. But given that we're gonna be doing a lot of braids and stuff, it just felt like it wasn't gonna to hold together very well for the course of the video. But obviously if you have natural curls and waves, I encourage you to embrace them, especially with these hairstyles. We also did a video where we followed a Desi Perkins hair tutorial last year that would get you similar results to this, and that one's about half heatless. Also, if you want even more, we did a video with the Octo Curl, which is completely heatless and got similar results to this as well. So there are a lot of ways to get like a natural wavy textured look. I will say this is probably the best one for people with hair like mine that's just kind of like fine and straight. This is a really good way to coax a natural look into your hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this through the hair and I'm gonna come back to you guys for the bangs so I can show you how to get some T-Swift bangs if you want. And I mean, yeah, is it a little bit excessive to curl every single piece of your hair to look like somebody's natural curl? I mean, maybe, but my hair doesn't curl like this naturally, so I gotta. And also, I think we're all hoping for some kind of like folklore festival tour, and we need to know how to do our hair for it. And we're gonna break these up a little bit more in a second, so. There's the curls for now. This is very Lizzie McGuire with the curled hair and the straight bangs. <laughs> Let's make it Taylor Swift. So we're gonna be taking this triangle section that we left out, you could also clip that off if that helps you. I literally can't see right now. And we're gonna curl this entire section towards the left. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking little tiny pieces and I'm gonna try the best of my ability to put the iron in this direction so it's perpendicular to my face. And we're doing ringlets with this. Just a little bit of endage left out. The tiniest bit. 
This is a part where if you have an iron with a clip, it might be a little bit easier because you could also go in with it this way. It's a little bit easier to manipulate very short hairs with a clip than with a wand. This is my short side, so I'm taking a little bit bigger section. While these cool, you can also look for some baby hairs around your face or just some little short ones and give them a little curl, make the whole thing look more natural because obviously if you have a natural curl pattern, your baby hairs are gonna have a curl. And I know right now, my girls that have actual curly wavy hair are like dying at the fact that I'm putting curls into my baby hair. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wow, I look nuts. Let's finish this thing up. Alrighty, so then you just go through with your fingers or a brush, brush them out and kind of bump them up a little bit, mess around, and you've got some tea swizzle bangs. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of hairspray. This one's from Virtue. A little salute and push. And then for that kind of like fluffy wavy look, I'm using the Kristen S Dry Texturizing Spray. Okay, I jumped off camera to use an iron with a clip so that I could really get the ends. This is the final look. My Taylor Curls. Let's get started with Cardigan. So we know that Taylor Swift did her own hair for all of the folklore album art and for cardigan. So it's really cool, it's very easy. Let's just give it a quick try. Just gonna split your hair in half, literally however you want. And if you wanna be fancy, you can secure your hair in pigtails first and then braid, but I'm just gonna hold my hair over to a pigtail position and then braid it. All my hours as a child watching Little House on the Prairie have prepared me for this moment. Same thing on the other side. I feel like the funniest mix between Britney Spears' Toxic and Taylor Swift's Cardigan right now. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna loosen this like the tiniest bit. Especially if your hair is relatively shorter like mine. Am I almost to medium category, guys? Am I almost there? I'm kind of excited for it. But we just wanna like be able to make the buns a little bit bigger, a little bit more like fluffy. Now we just wrap this into a bun on each side. Obviously, I went with like cottagecore messy. We're here, we love. Here's the final result. And now onto the Evermore album. It features a French braid, and I think a lot of us know how to do them, but I wanna give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to replicate the way that Taylor did. So because Taylor has bangs that she's leaving down, the braid is gonna start with the hair at the crown. So you're gonna take it from kind of the top of your head to just above eyebrow height back here. If you don't have bangs, you're just going to part your hair wherever you want to, a couple of inches back, and you're gonna start behind that. You're gonna split it into three and start braiding. And then every time you braid, you pick up new hair to add into the braid. The way to replicate Taylor's look is to take lots of little sections as you're going because there are several links in her braid that are bringing in new sections. But also you wanna make sure that you're sweeping hair from your hairline all the way back to the braid every single time you go. So you have that really pretty like line of hair going into the braid at each level. Once you've gotten all your hair into the French braid, you can braid the rest normally and then secure it with an elastic. Now I obviously left my bangs out as I was going, but at the end, whether you have bangs or not, if you want, you can lose some more little hairs around your face. She had quite a few pieces of hair kind of like forward and in her face. So just like really let it be. <sighs> I have a little bag right here you can see. Not the cutest. I'm just going to tuck it under the braid and pin it there. When in doubt, pin your mistakes underneath the braid. Okay, then as far as loosening the braid up, it is looser than when you first put it in, but it's not pancaked out. It's not huge and fluffy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my fingers and just go between a couple of the links and that's gonna be enough. And then I don't have much of a tail, but for Anna Laura, she's gonna go in and do the same thing. I like to call it letting the braid breathe. You just kind of pull it apart a little bit so it's a little bit more loose, has a little bit more room to move around. Now I'm gonna be doing the glass box hairstyle from Willow and I wanted to kind of replicate the headband. So I have two headbands wrapped around each other right now. One has the little flowers on it, one is just pearls and sparkles. 
and I'm gonna put that on. So that's just gonna go in like so. And essentially it's just, you put in whatever headband you have that's similar and it doesn't have to be quite so blingy. Could also be a nice simple headband you could wear this day to day. And I wanted to be the tiniest bit extra and add in some of these flower bobby pins that I have. The headband that she's wearing in the Willow Music video is from Jennifer Bear, who's one of my favorite accessory designers. And I have some bobby pins from the same line, so I thought I would pin some in with some pearls around here to kind of bring it together. Is this the easiest way to do it? No. Am I an overachiever and I'm gonna do it anyway? Yes. All right, now it's time for the last hairstyle. This is from the end of the Willow music video. We're gonna just take this French braid and we're gonna turn it into a little bun at the end. So for this bun, I'm going to take the base of my braid and start off by twisting it all the way around and then wrapping it up just like you normally would a bun. For our final hairstyle, I wanted to kind of make something inspired by Folklore and Evermore. So here's what I got. First of all, you're gonna start with whatever texture you want. Natural's great. And then you're gonna take a scarf or a ribbon. This one is a vintage scarf I've had for a little while. And you're gonna plop the center of it right on your head. If you have bangs, they go behind the bangs. You're gonna take a hair clip, clip that in place. And that's it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so now you're gonna take your scarf. You're gonna pick up a piece of hair underneath it, split that into two, and then you're going to braid these two pieces of hair and your one scarf all together. So you wanna stop when you have both pieces of hair on the underside of the scarf and it's as long or almost long enough to reach the back of your head. Then you're gonna secure those two pieces of braid with an elastic and pull the braid apart. You're just gonna pull out these two little braid sections and you just wanna kind of do this number with your fingers to loosen it up and texturize it. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take the clip out now because it's braided in and secure on this side. So now at this point, you're just gonna use your scarves to finish off the hairstyle. So you take each end of the scarf and bring it to the back. And then in the back, you're gonna tie it into a little knot or a bow and the hairstyle is done. All right, thank you for the assist, Anna Laura, on the bow. And that is the hairstyle. And those are Taylor Swift's hairstyles from Folklore and Evermore. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. Let me know down below if you are a fellow Swifty and maybe which album is your favorite. I just want to know. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the like button to help support my channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And all of y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. That's it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. These bangs, the curls are falling, so I'm like seeing oh, less and less oh, and less. <laughs> but I don't want to keep curling this hair because I'm trying to get it to grow. It's such a catch-22. Making it worse. Oh no. Oh no. Don't come over here yet. Itchy. So itchy. <laughs>